respiration. We will learn about cellular respiration, which is different than breathing from the lungs. In layman language, respiration refers to inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. This process will take place, but we will see the process at a cellular level. The first part of respiration is also called as aerobic respiration. This section requires oxygen to be present at all times within the cell. This section is divided into three main stages. Glycolysis is the only part of this section which can happen without oxygen. Krebs cycle and electron transport chain both require oxygen. A, sum a summary of cellular respiration shows in the slide presents a glucose molecule reacting with six oxygen molecules to form six carbon dioxide molecules and six water molecules. A lot of energy is stored in this glucose molecule and, and hence once it breaks down, it releases a lot of energy. Some of it is stored in the form of ATP. Glycolysis refers to breakdown of the six carbon glucose molecule to two, three carbon molecules. The process requires some energy. Thinking of investing in a business, you require some seed money. Similar analogy here is shown. Two ATP molecules are required to initiate the entire process. The product, which we will see later as a, lar as a larger number of ATP molecules released by the end of the cellular respiration. In glycolysis alone, uh, four ATPs are formed, hence net gain of two ATP molecule. The reaction is at least 13 steps, and at the end of one glucose molecule yields two pyruvate molecules. The pyruvate molecule is the three carbon molecule. Two NADH electron carriers are also released. At the end of respiration, these NADH will be used in the process called as electron transport chain. Pyruvate molecule just formed by glycolysis enters the citric acid cycle. Various configurational changes take place and various side products are released, such as 3 NADH, 1 FADH, 2 carbon dioxide, and 1 ATP molecule. There are two pyruvate molecules at the end of glycolysis, hence, there are two Krebs cycles for each glucose molecule. The third series of events in cellular respiration involves electron carriers. These series of reactions can be compared to a bucket brigade. Electron moves through different carrier molecules and are finally accepted by the oxygen molecule to form water molecule. The energy of the electron was carried by the NADH and FADH molecules. Both these molecules can become NAD and FAD. These series of steps are also called as chemoosmosis, reference to osmosis of electrons. In the absence of oxygen, the glucose molecule has a different fate. Since Krebs cycle and electron transport chain requires oxygen, when no oxygen is present, pyruvate the end product of glycolysis forms lactic acid in muscle cells and alcoholic end products in bacterial cells. When you exercise and feel a lump on your muscle, this is due to lactic acid accumulation. This is because you don't breathe long enough to provide oxygen to those muscle cells. Besides glucose, other organic molecules such as carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids can also enter the mainstream cellular respiration pathway. Some amino acids can convert directly into pyruvate. Certainly, lipids can directly enter the citric acid or the Krebs cycle.
These anaerobic processes are also referred to as fermentation. The end product of fermentation is based on the kind of cell. The process of cellular respiration is very complex. The main organelle within the cell where cellular respiration takes place is the mitochondria. By the end of the cellular res respiration, there are average of 36 ATP formed of one glucose molecule. The process utilized two ATP molecules in the initiation stage of glycolysis.